good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen you're probably wondering why the figures are out of the packaging brad well i did it again damn it i did it again somehow like it makes zero sense to me i filmed the full video i filmed it i filmed it in segments just like i always do i take the camera card out of the camera put it in the computer load up the editing i'm ready to go and where are the clips brad where are the clips the clips aren't there it's like i just sat here for 45 minutes and did absolutely nothing i did nothing apparently i didn't just film a full thing doing a full breakdown of these figures and doing the comparisons and doing all of these things and then it's like i didn't do anything Thing. Why does that happen? It's, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. It would make sense if it was like, oh, these files are corrupted. It's like the files aren't even there, bro. The files aren't even on the camera. Huh. <sighs> okay, then. Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video, guys. We have another Elite Series 86 2-in-1 review. I will go ahead and break it down for you guys anyways and do this thing just like we just did. So I do definitely apologize. But as you guys can see, we're taking a look at Triple H and the Monday Night Messiah here, which I'm very excited to get into it with you guys. I'm going to break it down, and we're going to go through every single thing here today, guys. So with that being said, we're just going to run through it like I already cracked them out of the packaging, and we're going to to start from this moment go through the accessories go through the figures themselves go through the comparisons and hopefully i keep myself sane while we make it through it but a huge shout out to ringside collectibles for making the review possible use promo code md toys when shopping over there man but jesus man just what a what a wonderful way to start the day filming the same video twice when you're on a time crunch. Gotta love it. Blessed. Highly favored. I got this. Let's do it. So getting into Triple H's accessories, guys. Starting out, we do get a nice cloth accessory. Cloth. Cloth accessory, which is always beautiful to see. I always love to see cloth accessories. I'll always take it over rubber, you know, for sure. DX logo looks really good. Black standard shirt. At this point in the video, I think you guys have already seen what it looks like on the figure. When in reality, at the time of the first recording, we hadn't seen it. But you guys saw what it looked like on the figure, so that's pretty good there. DX logo looks great. Cloth t-shirts will always make the world go round. And these are always beautiful to see. But it's a nice classic shirt that you can put on a lot of other figures. You know, if you want to grab a lot of these. Wait till the SummerSlam Triple H goes down in price. You can grab a lot of them, put them on your crowds, all that good stuff. So that's always nice to see. With our Triple H's, you know you gotta have a standard water bottle accessory. That's always great to see. White bottle cap, clear bottle there. Always nice to put in the catering section and to put in your Triple H displays and stuff like that. So that's always a bonus. And then for interchangeable hands, we get the mic holding hands with a little finger tape on there, which is always nice. Every figure should come with mic holding hands. We say it every single time in a review. And then for his interchangeable hands you do get the DX crotch chop hands which are really nice now I will say I wish you could pose him better with a crotch chop but you know getting these hands is nice and you could use it for other things but it's it's kind of crazy how like many things they use these hands for like you get them with so many different figures it even comes with the with the Seth Rollins figure as you guys will see but it's the DX crotch chop hands that's what they're there for and that's it with that so getting into the Triple H figure man this is a figure that uh, brings back a lot of memories for me because I remember getting this figure at dirt cheap in base basic form and a lot of people say that the basic is more accurate and I don't know I think that that color kind of came out a little bit pink this one kind of looks a little bit bluey purple or something like that which I don't think either are perfectly accurate you know this doesn't have glitter on it like I think the actual attire had but it does have a nice color going on but at the top of the head sculpt I remember getting the basic that had this exact head sculpt it's basically the basic with true technology updates and stuff like that which is always great I think this head sculpt could work for a lot of things but the body looks good I like this body they use for flashback triple h's you get the white wrist tape the gear again like coming across on camera it looks a little bit more purple than it actually is i think it's it's literally like kind of like this packaging back here is kind of the color that i'm getting like in the light areas and you got all your hunter hearst helmsley logos going on all of that stuff it's like your standard wrestling tights you know all the logos over some long tights it did use the elite 23 body mold so he does have like the tights look they're not molded tights it kind of looks like skin tone but you know i don't know i think it works they used it on the two-pack Triple H. They used it on the Elite 23 Triple H. So it's not the biggest deal. I mean, you like in a perfect world, now the Hunter Hearst Helmsley like network spotlight figure may have been better. But at the end of the day, I still like this. You get the black wrestling boots and stuff. But I think it still would work for, you know, that SummerSlam Triple H, you know, flashback look. I don't think you'll have any issues with that whatsoever. So I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. But I like the Triple H figure. I love Triple H. I don't have any issues with it. But that is your Triple H SummerSlam Elite 
86 figure. And then for your Triple H figure comparisons, guys, here is the two-pack Triple H. Now, I didn't want to compare him to a lot of other things simply because, you know, this is kind of like a, a similar era of Triple H there. You got the long tights. They're the same exact body mold. If you guys wanted to put this head sculpt, like this pissed off head sculpt over here, I think that would look great. I think if you put that head over here, it'd look great. If you use this head sculpt for like a early evolution Triple H, I, like on a suited body or something, I think that would look really good. So a lot of different looks you can use for these head sculpts and body molds and stuff. And maybe in the future, we could get a better flashback head sculpt that you could pop on here and stuff. But while the tights aren't the most accurate, I still like the Triple H figure and I think it'll go nicely up on the shelf, break up some of those black gears that we've gotten for Triple H and that will be really cool. Now for the besides accessories, guys, starting out with his entrance vest here, I think that the pinks look really good. Like the color and accuracy to the gear that Seth Rollins wore looks really good. And I think that it's a little bit more pink than the actual gear that Rey Mysterio wore. You know, he did wear this against Dominic at SummerSlam and, you know, trying to play the mind games and stuff like that. He went with the Rey Mysterio style gear from Havoc. And I think that is wonderful. And I think the color matches pretty much beautifully. Like I don't have any issues issues with it. You know, if you wanted to acetone the designs off, you could maybe make a solid pink vest, which is what I plan to do with one of my Rollins. I want to make an MDT live gear out of one of my extra Rollins that I get, so we'll take a look at that when we look at the figure itself. But I like the entrance vest. You guys know Seth Rollins figures usually come with the entrance vest, but that is nice. You also have interchangeable hands. Here is the, you know, prayer style hands or the DX crotch chop hands or the shaking hands or the Kawhi Leonard's massive ricochet hands. They use it for a lot, like we said. One thing I don't like is on the gloved hand. You guys know the Messiah likes to wear the gloved hand. The peg is in skin tone, so that kind of throws me off a little bit. Really wish we could fix that. And then the other side is, you know, just your plain, regular style hand. And then out of the packaging, he does come with mic holding hands. And this one actually, it's like the top of the peg has a little bit of black paint on it, but it doesn't fully cover it. And then the other side is completely skin tone. So, really wish we could get those pegs fixed, but I don't know the, the standard of, you know, making that work and getting that fixed. But there is that. And then we do get the kendo stick accessory where he beat the hell out of Dominic. We've seen this multiple times. We've seen this for over 50 waves now. So this isn't anything new, but it is nice to have to add to your weapons collections and stuff. You know, he, this is the match where he beat the hell out of Dominic, right? Where he had all the whelps on his body and stuff like that. Or did that happen prior to the SummerSlam match? I can't remember, but I know that, you know, the kendo stick is, you know, synonymous with Rollins and beating the hell out of Dominic and all of that. So that is it for your Seth Rollins accessories, guys. So let's dive into Seth Rollins himself. So getting into Seth Rollins, guys, starting out at the head sculpt. I really like this new head sculpt that we're getting with the man bun and the nice beard and the facial, you know, everything like that. The likeness is totally there. I don't have any issues with that whatsoever. The hair looks really nice. The beard looks really nice. The shape of it. I really like it. I don't have any issues whatsoever. Of course, we did just get that new battle pack head sculpt with Drew McIntyre as well. Felt like the forehead may be a little bit big there, but it does give you that, you know, that old SummerSlam Seth Rollins head sculpt, you know, with, well, not the Southern or some head sculpt up. The top talents. You know, the smiley one, that didn't come on the SummerSlam figure. I'm thinking of the fix-up I made, but overall thoughts on it looks good. The hair, the headband, the, the man bun, I mean, it all looks good to me. I mean, his expression kind of reminds me of the Godfather or something. Like, I, I think a determined head would have looked a lot better, but at the end of the day, think it works. Think it works out great. Same standard Seth Rollins, you know, torso that we've seen with the chest hair and everything. This looks excellent for me. Again, we do have the one black glove over here, then the non over there. The pink tights look immaculate really happy with these you even got the little belt buckle design and the black belt the question marks on the side it does say monday night blank it does not say monday night messiah a lot of people were upset about that because i guess because they you know we had the basic seth rollins that said monday night messiah down the side and then for the elite they decided to remove it i'm not sure if it's because you know they didn't want to offend people which I'm a Christian and it doesn't offend me, which I, I can't see why it would offend some people, but it's just a character on television. I'm not taking it, you know, seriously and everything like that. If you, you know, it's not like, I don't know. It's just a character on TV. It's like watching a TV show and there being a t character you don't like. It's not that serious, man. Just live your life. You know, don't get crazy. So it doesn't have Messiah on there, but it does say Monday Night Blank, which is kind of weird. May I, I mean, I feel like you could have at least put Rollins, maybe. Maybe Monday Night Rollins. That way 
way at least it's not just a blank there so it doesn't just say Monday night maybe that would work I don't know you guys can let me know down below what you guys think about that but the pink looks excellent the question marks look excellent I love all the graphics you get the black open knee pads black solid kick pads and everything so I mean dude this is a really sick Rollins this is one of my favorite Rollins releases for sure just the the pink of it and everything like that I wish that he came with his jacket but I don't you know I'm not gonna deduct any football points as we like to say it looks good I don't have any problems or issues this looks good to me. Let's get into some Rollins comparisons. And for those Rollins comparisons, guys, here we have the SummerSlam Elite with the fix-up that I was alluding to like an idiot. We have the top talents and we have the fan takeover. You guys can let me know. So seeing the pink up there with the other colors is really, really nice. We are missing others. Of course, we have like so many different attires that we've gotten for Rollins so far. But if you guys wanted to compare these head sculpts in here, this kind of looks like a man bun version of the, of the you know, the, the fan takeover or the top talents figure. Year. but you know the beard is a little bit different the hair is obviously down versus up and you know there it, it could totally work though like maybe even if I get a couple of these you could like shave off the hair and then put this hair piece on there I think that could also work I mean you may run into some issues here where you'd have to like cut into the fade right there which I wouldn't want to get rid of I don't know there's maybe a way around it maybe there's somebody out there that could fix it up and make it look nice where you could have this guy with long hair and everything but the likeness is totally there it looks just like Rollins and then you do have your smiley head sculpt which is kind of weird because these likenesses are kind of all over the place but all of them look just like Rollins like if you look at a picture of him smiling he looks just like this if you look at a man bun image he looks like this if you look down he looks like this so that's really good if you can do that across all your figures man I think you got something special going on there young man you got a little something special going on there young man but now it finally does it for the review guys finally all right now that time it actually worked it seems again guys thank you guys so very much for tuning into the video overall thoughts on both of these figures i think they're both must cops especially you know if you're a big time figure collector you want the flashback triple h you love you know seth rollins you want to update it i think this seth rollins is much better than the other ones we've gotten here recently because the rest of them have been in like black gear and like solid kind of boring looking gear with the top talents and the and the fan take over there so getting the pink gear is really nice i like it i like the head sculpt you know comparing it here to the mysterio with the colors and everything looks really nice i think it's really cool how they got it accurate to rollins and they got it accurate to Mysterio but you know both of them work completely you know the same color so it's really cool that they got both colors completely right I think at least when doing the flashback Rey Mysterio and then doing the current Rollins and everything like that so it's really cool to have a figure of that matchup of that attire seeing all of them in their vests up on the shelf is really cool and then the Triple H while the color is not the most accurate I still like the t-shirt the head sculpt's nice and you know this ladder match Triple H from SummerSlam works for me I don't have any issues with it, but if you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. You don't want to miss out on these figures. I think they're great. We are going to review the rest of the set and everything, but I like both of them. I think they're both must cops and everything, but before we get out of here, guys, getting into a random shout out, it's going to go to Sean Arguello, and he says, MDT, it's like Cesaro is going up against Superman, me, but he's the Swiss Superman, and I know that's true, Bradley, but Roman Reigns is a different animal, I think. But I like that comment right there. Cesaro is a beast. I think they're going to have a great matchup and everything. But at the end of the day, I think Roman Reigns may be a little bit too much for Cesaro. And that is a thing right there. But huge shout out to Sean for the comment. I really apologize that, you know, it wasn't like our standard reviews. I had to, you know, I had to do it completely twice. So I do apologize for that, man. But I don't know how that happens, man. I still can't wrap my head around it. I, I do my best to try to avoid it, and sometimes it happens anyway, and it's just garbage. But huge shout-out to Sean. Huge shout-out to Ringside for making the review possible. Use promo code MDTOYS. I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and don't cross the line like my damn camera when it decided to delete my footage for the 800th time here on the channel. You crossed the line. I've been